Hello, everyone. I'm going to go through the MSDE document for what their proposals are for next year's school, which is actually like pretty shocking. You don't need to read all 54 pages. I'm just going to go through and show you what the important things are to look at when you're going through this document to help you write um, to MSDE. So you can skip the first few pages, which are normal report pages with the authors, the title page, the table of content tends the letter from the state superintendent of schools, um, you know, a summary of what they learned and the dates of what happened when Corona first struck. What I really want you to start on is on page eight of the PDF or on the bottom of the pages, it says page five, you're going to see research. This is awesome because this research, uh, this research has already been done for you. So you don't have to do it. Um, on mouse. All right, it's not working. Um, so I'm going to use a normal one. All right, so this research here, hopefully you can see what I've highlighted. Uh, these next couple of pages show you um, where they got their research to make their decisions. This is amazing because you can do two things with this research. You can use this research in your own argument to show something different than what they showed, or you can use this research and say why it was wrong for them to use this research specifically. Because if they're using like bad reports or reports from like 1995, then you could say, you know, you, you based your plan on old or bad research, whereas my plan is based on great new research. So um, here you'll see things like they said that usually um, reallocating time has no impact on student learning. So in other words, um, like adding minutes or days to other days or like shifting the time around for school doesn't add or subtract to your learning. That's great because if your argument is going to be something like, um, you know, I think we should keep the number of hours, but I think that we should do it at home, then you can say why that's positive because as you mentioned, MSDE, it has no impact on student learning, whether we go to school for, you know, more time on Mondays or less time on Wednesdays. Um, it said uh, that there shouldn't be any good solution for making up the spring and summer 2020 learning slowdown in this next part. In other words, that trying to add more time to 2020, 2021 next, year, next school year to make up for the spring or summer doesn't actually work is what the research says. So if you go through the research, it says things like um, how only adding time may have a positive impact, but it's limited on research or on learning. Um, it said that uh, the positive uh, effect is only for math and science achievement due to longer school days, not longer school years. So therefore, we shouldn't have a longer school year. Um, like things like this are just like really interesting and could help out your argument. Um, it does say that uh, the summer slide has a bigger impact on math compared to language arts. So maybe in-person learning should only be for math, not for English. Um, it says that vir fully online virtual schools produce, produce less effective outcomes than for students who are in school. That might be useful for you, either as a counter argument or for your argument. So going through pages five and six at the bottom or eight and nine on your PDF might be helpful in, in seeing what the research says in terms of what actually works with student learning. Because if you're creating a plan for next year, you need to consider these things or you need to shut down MSDE in their consideration. Um, it does say things about how uh, in grades three through eight um, that, you know, more shut, uh, learning stops more than students in higher grades. So maybe you might not be as affected as elementary school students and there should be two separate plans. Um, all right, on pages, uh, what are nine, I'm oh, sorry, uh, seven and eight or 10 and 11 on your document. These um, pages say what they're considering for next year. This is something you can agree with or disagree with or come up with your own. They're saying that you only report for one full day of school and then your other days of school are online. So whereas I might have to report to school as a teacher, 
Monday through Friday. I've only got like one group of students coming in on Monday, one group of students coming in on Tuesday in order to limit interaction with you all or the same thing with two days. Or it says A days and B days, which is something that Bowie already uses. So you can say whether or not you think that's a good idea. Um, they've got an elementary school plan and uh, how you can, it can kind of phase in from like kindergarten through 12th grade. So for example, maybe like uh, elementary school starts regularly, but middle schoolers come in a week later, high schoolers come in two weeks after that. I found this assessments part really interesting. They're planning on testing you more next year to make up for the testing loss this year. So they said like, you know how you didn't have to take MCAP this year or MISA? Maybe we'll just push it to the fall, which stinks for a lot of you because then that would mean that you've got um, MISA or MCAP at the beginning of the year and then again at the end of the year, um, which could mean double testing. So you can say what you think of that. Um, that is on the bottom of page eight or on the PDF page 11. Now, if you're in a CTE class, you might wanna check out page 12. I'm not gonna go through it. Or if you're in a special education program, you might wanna check out page 13. Um, there are support programs that I thought was potentially interesting um, on page 16 of the PDF or page 13 of the actual document. So if you're somebody who might have to take summer school, they've got um, information about that in that first section. They've also got information about Saturday school that's being considered, increasing dual enrollment, modifying the, cal the calendar so that school starts earlier. Um, in other words, summer, you have a shorter summer or that you've got a longer school day. So maybe you go to school until five instead of 225. Um, or they're open earlier, which I'm sure many of you have an opinion about because our school already starts pretty early. Night classes, extending the school year, um, all these, these calendar fixes you might have an opinion about. Again, that's on page 13 and 14 or page 16 and 17 of the PDF. Um, I also wanted to draw your attention to page 21. Now, before that, it gives considerations for teachers. If you're going to make an argument that says, okay, we can't just consider the students, we also have to consider the teachers, then you might want to check out these pages like 16 and 17. Um, but I wanted you to see the transportation plan on page 21, which is page 24 of the PDF. If you are concerned about getting on school buses to go to school and being on a school bus with somebody else with coronavirus, you might want to check out the considerations in the transportation section page 21 of the document or 24 of the PDF. And then the last thing I wanted to draw your attention to, although you can peruse the whole document, is at the very end of the document on page 53, I looked at, this is the work group that came up with this plan. I found this very interesting because I noticed that there are only, I think, two teachers on here, I could be wrong about that, um, who helped come up with this plan and everybody else is more of like a policymaker, somebody like a politician. Um, and there are no students who helped in the making of this plan. So that might also be something that you use in your argument to say, you came up with a plan for us going back to school, but you didn't take any student's voice in helping create this plan. So I, you know, I'm gonna also come up with this plan. So that's on uh, pages, 50 of the document and 53 of the PDF, if you wanna check the, out the stakeholders and use that in your argument. All right, otherwise I think that those are the only really relevant sections too. You're more than welcome to read the whole thing, but I do think that some of their plans would be something that would get you really fired up. So um, I would check out those pages in order to respond to them.